In the argument above, the two bold faced sections play which of the following roles? So we need to paraphrase these statements and um, try and guess or try and assess their roles continuously as we read the passage. It's a different form of reading than you normally do on CR. So in countries where government makes monthly payments to support the unemployed, the recorded unemployment rate is nearly double that in countries lacking this benefit. So this is um, some kind of fact. What gets done with this fact? Let's keep reading. Uh, there is no easy way to identify individuals who are, who are working privately and not reporting their income to the government. So it is possible that many of those claiming to be unemployed do in fact earn an income. Okay. Um, nevertheless, it is presumptuous to conclude that in countries offering unemployment benefits, half the claims requesting unemployment benefits include false statements about the applicant's employment status. Um, so, uh, and then the next statement is, after all, in countries without a monthly benefit for the unemployed, people might have little reason to report their unemployed status to the government. Okay, so then the second one is clearly some kind of reason or belief. Spell belief right. Okay, so um, the first one is a fact that gets used to support this idea that uh, half of all the claims in include false statements. Um, this fact also supports the reason given in the in the in the second boldface thing that basically um, in the in the companies without unemployment benefits with half the rate of reporting that might be because people have no reason to report um, so we'll call that no incentive so the fact in the first boldface thing ha is goes on to be used by two different opinions mentioned in the passage one of which is the second boldface portion. Let's look for that in the answer choices. So uh, the first is a claim that the passage rejects. No, it's actually a fact. We can get rid of that. Uh, B, the first is a finding, the implications of which are considered in the argument. OK, we can accept that. Uh, the second is a claim advanced in order to dispute the derivation of certain implications from that finding. Wow. Um, so yes, that sounds good, but let's check the other ones. Uh, the first is evidence brought in support of a conclusion for which the argument provides additional evidence. That's not what happens. Uh, the first is a finding whose accuracy is disputed. That's not what happens. Um, the first is evidence brought to support a conclusion that the argument accepts. The second is that conclusion. So this is true, but the first is evidence that also gets used to support um, a, an argument that the... Um, or. It's also used to support a conclusion that the argument rejects. So choice E isn't a good summary of what it was. That brings us back to B, which basically says the first bold statement is something that the rest of the passage looks into, and the second bold statement is uh, one is the explanation that's, that opposes the one that's not in boldface. So choice B is the answer.